Hi, my name is Lindsay Blythe and I'm an associate in the employment and immigration teams at Mitchell Moores. Following the changes to free movement, we've received an increasing number of inquiries regarding the right to work checks for EEA and Swiss citizens. Many employers want to better understand the legal position, their obligations and how this relates to EEA and Swiss citizens now that the UK and the European Union have gone their separate ways. Well, let's start with the legal position. As I'm sure you know, it's illegal to employ anyone that does not have the right to reside and the appropriate right to work in the UK or who is working in breach of their conditions of stay. Employers that are found to be employing workers illegally face a number of significant and damaging consequences, including a £20,000 fine and up to five years in prison. Now, you can avoid these sanctions if you undertake the necessary right to work checks before the worker commences employment and you retain records to prove that these checks were conducted correctly. This is what we call the statutory excuse. But how does that then apply to EEA and Swiss citizens? Well, thankfully, the government has published updated guidance for employers and how to conduct right to work checks for EEA and Swiss citizens between the 1st of January and the 30th of June 2021 in order to establish and retain the statutory excuse. What the guidance confirms is that up until the 30th of June 2021, employers can continue to rely on checking EEA and Swiss citizens' passports and national identity cards as evidence of their right to work in the UK. Employers are not expected to differentiate between EEA and Swiss citizens that arrived in the UK prior to the end of the Brexit transition period at 11pm on the 31st of December 2020 and those that have arrived in the UK on or after the 1st of January 2021. There's also no mandatory requirement for employers to undertake retrospective checks of EEA and Swiss citizens that have been employed prior to the 30th of June 2021. Therefore, provided a right to work check is undertaken in line with the right to work legislation and guidance and the employer does not know or have reasonable cause to believe that the employee has no right to work, then the employer will maintain a continuous statutory excuse. Now, employers can invite those who already have status under the EU settlement scheme or under the new points-based immigration system to evidence their right to work using the Home Office online service. However, they cannot insist that EEA and Swiss citizens use the online service or discriminate against those who would prefer to rely on their passport or national identity card as evidence of their right to work up until the 30th of June 2021. Now, things change on the 1st of July 2021. And from then, all EEA and Swiss citizens, bar Irish citizens, will be required to demonstrate that they have the right to work through evidence of their immigration status using the online service. We do expect further guidance on this to be published by the Home Office and will set out hopefully how we should be conducting the right to work checks from the 1st of July 2021. We will keep an eye out um, for those and keep you updated. Um, and I think the key kind of takeaway point from this really is that up until the 30th of June 2021, it's business as usual for EEA and Swiss citizens. You're able to continue relying on their passport and national identity cards as evidence of the right to work in the UK, unless you know or have a reasonable cause to believe they do not have the right to work in the UK. If you've got any questions regarding this topic or any other immigration queries, please get in touch with me, Lindsay Blythe, or any of the other members of the Mitchell Moore's immigration team. Thanks.